Florida has a big problem. As its waters warm due to climate change, its coral reefs are under extreme stress. That's causing them to bleach and it's all happening quickly. The Florida Keys literally would not exist if it were not for um, the coral reef track that has existed here um, over the millennia. Um, and unfortunately, um, there have been some rather significant um, challenges and perturbations um, inflicted upon these coral reefs. Scientists are joining forces to look for a solution. But can Florida's coral reef be saved? The reef is home to millions of species of marine life. Experts say it supports healthy ocean food webs and protects coastlines. As many parts of the U.S. face heat waves, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reported water temperatures in the mid-90s Fahrenheit. Far hotter than the 73 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit it typically should be during this time of year. In the last five years that I've been studying corals, I've seen a lot of change in Miami. I feel like there's been more um, there's been more storms, um, higher temperatures, and heat waves that have just caused more problems for the reef. Scientists from the NOAA and Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium are teaming up in response to the crisis. They have come up with new techniques to propagate and transplant healthy corals. Part of that includes cultivating coral fragments in nurseries, ensuring their strength and viability before reintroducing them into the ocean. We want to restore corals uh, and these coral reefs in a manner in which they can now take on um, their own replication and put us out of business in terms of coral restoration. We don't want to be in the business of restoring corals for the rest of our lives. They're already beginning to see progress on that front. They have withstood over a five-year period two coral bleaching events, a Category 4 hurricane that went right over the top of it, and stony coral tissue loss disease. This, this, these coral fragments that we put out there survived all of that, killed all the coral around it. What we had put out survived. Not only did it survive, but it did what our end goal is. Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.